That's my little spaniel, the star of the show. And his name is Murphy. And he loves balls. There's nothing he loves more than a ball. This guy will skip his meal to have this ball. And doesn't matter what the weather is, as you can see it's cold, he's not even shivering. He just loves that ball. It's coming up to two years now, so he's quite big. Most of the tricks he knows, he's taught himself. I didn't really have to teach him anything. He's very well trained, very well behaved. Must say, the Springer Spaniel breed, um, if, you, if there's something you can say, the discipline is like they love obedience. Apart from loving this ball, he loves obedience more than anything. He'll, he loves obedience. So it's a good family dog for anybody who's got a dog or who wants to buy a dog for the kids. This is a perfect pet. Maintenance, basically I, I cut his hair for him. So I don't take him to a barb or anything. I cut his hair with the shears and the scissors and um, try to, trying to teach him not to bark but obviously sometimes when it's uh, out like this I like to let him have his natural abilities come out don't want to stop him from being a, a doggy that's why you can see I don't have him on a leash I I trained him from birth to be, you know, independent that way. So he sticks to me because we've been playing hide and seek. So that's why he's always looking where I am, etc., etc. Always keeps an eye on me because we've played hide and seek. You see, that's a good trick to play. Hide and seek, so the dog is always looking for you. Always looking, where are you? You're not having to tell the dog, come here all the time. This dog, if I turn my back on him and walk away, he's going to follow me. Just check this out. And there he comes, you see? I don't have to call him. I don't have to do anything. I just go, going back where I came from. I don't have to do anything, I don't have to call him, he just comes where I tell him to go. He knows if, he, if he's not having me in sight, something's not happening. He's no, he knows I'm the fun, you know, I'm the one that kicks the ball. So there's two parts in the story, not just the, the dog that I have to pay so much attention to. No, he's got to also pay attention to me. And just spend a lot of time with him. You know, spend a lot of time with this guy because I uh, believe if you give the dog attention, you, the, the dog's not going to be crazy. Like there's people over there right now playing with their kids, but um, he's not interested because he knows he has his attention. This is where he gets everything. Treats. I give him as much treats at home as what I can. I like sometimes feel like I'm over uh, spoiling him, but. Um, he doesn't ever look for treats from other people, you know what I mean? He's not like up people's legs and looking for treats, no, he's because he, he, he knows when he comes out he's fed. There's no need for him to be looking for other people's um, attention or feeding of treats or anything like that. So yeah, very beautiful dog, very beautiful dog, very well behaved. I mean, I can tell him to sit and stay in front of his meal and he won't eat a thing. Simply because I haven't said, good boy. So that's the catch word, good boy. You see? 